In this video, I come up with the problem of one dimension motion, which is somewhat indirect. We will go through the problem now. A bullet moving with velocity 60 meter per second can penetrate three wooden planks of equal thickness. That is the first sentence. We read second also later on we come. How many such planks it can penetrate? If the initial velocity is 120 meter per second. First of all, we try to visualize the first sentence. A bullet moving with velocity 60 meter per second can just penetrate three wooden planks of equal thickness. Observe here, a very special word just is used. Why it is used? What does it mean? Always many students will not be able to get this idea. Say so every word is important. Just penetrates means as soon as it come out of the wooden plank that bullet stops. That means its final velocity is zero. Observe that just word indicates it stops and its final velocity is zero. For that, let me write a figure here. Say, we write three wooden planks as they have given of equal thickness. We try to imagine the situation. We try to create a picturization. Each of thickness D. I use D because time is also denoted by T for thickness. I use D for thickness. Observe, each one of them are D there. Thickness, each one of them are D now. And what is that given? A bullet penetrates like this. This is the bullet which is moving with 60 meter per second. So I write U for bullet as 60 meter per second. I call it as U1. And then it just penetrates means just after coming out the final velocity v1 we call 0. Now, what is the, what else is asked? We have written the situation for the first sentence. Just remember, just 0 indicates final velocity 0. Just it comes out. That's all. It will not move further. Next, how many such planks it can penetrate if the initial velocity is 120 meter per second? We try to write a picture for that. Observe carefully. I take one plank there of thickness D and another plank there of thickness D. It goes like this. We imagine there are n planks. 1, 2, n. What is to be calculated? How many planks it is given? So what is to be calculated? This is also of D. Now it is given the bullet initial velocity u2 I call it is 120 meter per second. Then it just again how many planks it penetrates means final velocity is again to be 0 v2 0. Then what we are, what we are asked to calculate is n number of planks. How do we solve this? Say this is the overall picturization of the given numerical. How to solve this is the next point. We have written the data also along with that picturization. But how to solve this? Observe here U and V known, plank, three planks are known. Then we also can write three plank distance as 3D, what I call as S, distance traveled by the, distance traveled by the bullet, distance traveled by the bullet. Observe now, now, how to calculate N, this is the beautiful point to think, try to get, try to get, if you want, you can stop the video here and try to think of what to do.
and then if you cannot just continue now observe carefully how do i solve this here s is known what i call as s1 here also s is known in s2 i call it is nd and in both the cases we assume there as bullet is stopping retardation is same and that is negative acceleration which brings the bullet to rest is same therefore as i know yes as i know v as i know u i can use v square equals u square plus 2s yes, for both the situations i write for first situation for first situation v1 square equals u1 square plus 2a s1 and for the second situation v2 square is u2 square plus 2a s2 observe in both the things a are same i have taken now using this you can simply solve for the n how we just substitute the formula for this and then we go for the other things to stop so i substitute the things so first one i substitute 0 u1 60 what we have written here just observe u160 i write 60 square plus 2a into 3d i write into 3d i write for the second one, or else simply I can write this as, uh, say, this one as 6AD equals minus 60 square. 6AD as minus 60 square I have written. Similarly, for second situation, I write V2 square for this situation v2 square equals u2 square plus 2a is 2 we go for it now again 0 it is 120 square plus 2a n into d 2a n into d because n planks are there now n into d now, I write this equation as in the same manner 2AND equals minus 120 square minus 120 square by dividing these two we will get the N. If you want you can call it as 1 this as 2 from 1 and 2 you can easily get the final solution dividing 1 by 2 dividing 1 by 2 how much you get dividing 1 by 2 6 ad by 2 a and d is equal to minus 120 square let me do it on this side just observe i rub this off i rub this problem now i just go for the final calculation here last calculation observe carefully i divide 1 by 2 6 ad by corresponding sides will be divided 2 a n d which is equal to on this side minus 60 square on this side minus 120 square is there so now you can calculate easily the other what is required a can be cancelled it is three times just observe now as a last bit we have 3 by n is equal to i write it as 60 by 120 whole square which amounts to be 1 by 2 whole square because 1 by 4 therefore n equals 12 easily this is the answer after cross multiplying we get n equals 12 but here there's a thing many of the students as soon as they hear this problem they say answer as six planks 
as it is first three planks now velocity is doubled it is six planks but it is wrong now we got 12 how they guess because first velocity is doubled number of planks is also doubled but we are not getting it why pause the video just think over it why it is observe carefully why it is because these equations v square equals u square plus 2 a s are non-linear equations because square terms along with the linear terms like a and s are there the relations are non-linear therefore linear proportion proportionality will not change uh, will not valid for 3 if the velocity doubled it becomes 6 meaningless so we have to think of that thank you and again please share this video for your friends it may help them and also please subscribe this channel okay thank you